Kwenye line niko na mwanangu wa damu anaitwa Chid Boy. Huu kwanza mimi namkubali sana. Na personally naweza nikasema ni miongoni mwa wasanii ambao katika industry tunaweza tukasema tunawaamini. Nikiwa na maana akulupuki katika kufanya kazi akitoa ametoa kitu kinaeleweka. Chid Boy mambo vipi? Fresh ndugu yangu. Nazungumzia Marekani sasa ndugu yangu. Kuliko ni huko kuna jipya gani mjini huko? Ah kwanza tunamshukuru Mungu anatupea uh, pumzi, tunapumua. Yeah. Tunatupea nguvu, tunafanya kazi. Yeah, so kwanza jambo la kwanza ni kumshukuru Mungu kwanza. Mm. Uh, harakati zinaenda, zinaenda ndugu yangu. Wala, Maisha yanaenda. Mimi mpaka kukutafuta nimeona mzigo mpya ndugu yangu. Nikasema bado wa moto acha nimtafute <laughs> Chid Boy. Kwanza ngoma inaitwaje na wazo lilikuwa vipi mpaka ikafikia hatua hiyo? Ah uh, ngoma inaenda kwa jina la Mumbe Bebe. Uh, <clears throat> kiwalisia ni ni kingereza na ni, ni kifaransa ni lugha ya kifaransa okay ambayo ni kwa kiingereza inakuwa like my baby yeah yeah more my baby eh hiyo ah na haidi ya ndugu yangu ningekwambia itakuwa a little bit uh, confused ama inaweza kuwa a little bit funny lakini unajua anakuambia guys siku zote wakishakutana watu wawili ambao lengo lao ni moja issue issue zima inakuwa ipo ipo na, na utofauti kidogo nakumbuka hii ngoma idea alitoa labda zangu mate okay tulikuwa tumechill tu studio actually tulikuwa tuko tuko kwenye home studio tukasema no kwa nini tusifanye kitu basi kumbe yeye alikuwa amefanya kuna kuna muda sana alikuwa ameshasikiza hiyo beat hiyo Okay. Akasema huyu unajua huyu unatoka kitu mwe. Na na mchompende wake kaka yangu yule. Mm. Anakuwa ni mtu fulani he's so creative. Yaani yeah, ni yeah, mtu ambaye anaweza katengeneza kitu kizuri out of nowhere. You know yani like inatoka same fulani kwenye kichwa chake na kinakuwa ni kitu kizuri sana. Okay. Huyo alivonionaga pale akasema mtu wangu. Nikuamini hapo. Unajua wewe umeshafanya kazi na baadhi ya yeah. wasanii apart from Martin. How it happens kwa Martin? Uh, ni vile experience ambayo mko nayo au you trust in what he have? Um, Martin tukiachana tu kwanza na usanii Martin ni brother yangu. Ni okay. mtu fulani ambaye yeah, ni mtu fulani ambao ambaye ananijua tangia bado nilikuwa ni mdogo sana yani ni mtu ambaye alikuwa ni rafiki yake na kaka zangu so basically yani tuachane na yani tukiachana na mziki wala nini yeye ni brother okay Kaza, hata hata for a living mara nyingi sana waga naenda kwake na spend a night na tuna enjoy tunaenda same yeah, 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 yani ni yeah. like yetu yapo hivyo yani na ndio maana hata hilo hilo jambo lili li, li happen like that you know tulikuwa tumechill tunatulia tuna, tunaangalia tv tunatulia tu Yaani akaje tusema kuna beat fly ndogo wangu mm-hmm. tunaweza kupata kitu. Tuguse hapo. Eh umeona ile? Eh umeona. Yeah. Yaani ili tokea kitu fulani kama tu yani yani like like let's just do this. You know what I'm saying? Bro nimekupata kabisa. Mimi nataka tu switch kidogo. Tuachane kwanza na ngoma tutaizungumzia. Kuna muda skendo zilikutawara bro. Mimi nanepa sana mwanangu. Chid boy kulikoni. Unajua chid boy wewe wewe ni jamaa mbona unakutoka na mawe kibao mwanangu. Chid boy mbona hivi mbona hivi afti vizi na kulipoti vile ambavyo. Waga unachukuliaje kwanza? Let's start from there. Ah uh, kwanza mimi mara nyingi sana waga si panic kwa sababu na this bado futa. Okay. Na baadhi ya vijana wenzangu ambao wanafanya hizi kazi ni kwamba wengi wao sio kwamba walisomea na sio kwamba wanaijua kiivu. Okay. Vile tu inakuwa kwamba ni eh inakuwa ni jambo fulani ambalo it's, it's something that una, unalitaka ni kitu ambacho unakipenda na nawashukuru wengi na nawaamini na wengi kwa sababu wanatumia kipaji kufanya kitu kufanya vitu vizuri. And mm-hmm. that's really Yeah that's really nice. Yaani wanatumia kipaji kufanya vitu vizuri. Yaani unajikuta sio yaani sio mpaka elimu. No, ni kipaji tu na unaoona mtu ana mfano ndugu yangu uh, kaka jambazi. Unamwona? Kaka jambazi. Kipaji chake na kitangaza the way ana yeah the way anafanya vitu vyake ni quietly professional but umeona? So yeah. I have a much respect for them. Ni vile tu ni kwamba ni na ukwaga na waelewa tu sometimes unajua akiwa akiwa akiripoti vitu vingine na kwa naelewa vile na nishawahi kuliongelea hii nikasema kwamba vijana wanatakiwa wanani waelewe kwamba kuna different between media like like a media na na hizi nani za udako okay fine Mwana. fine yeah yeah 
Media, <laughs> umeona hiyo? Yeah, so yeah. media media wenyewe ukiona media mpaka wana post kitu maana yake is a, a fake ni kitu fulani ambacho ni they need to kina, they need kina, to get attention kina, from the audience. They need to post it. Yeah, yani sio kila story kutoka kwenye nani zile pages za udaku ndo media. Yaani unaona nani post za udaku zinakuwa zimesha post. Alafu ndo media inatoa inatoa nani information kule kule kwenye nani afu inakuwa labda ni information fulani ambayo labda mfano ya mfano inamwaribia msanii. Unaona? But, but you, know, you, know, you know what you know what sisi watu tunatafuta attention kutoka kwa audience. So Yaani sisi tunatafuta sehemu ambayo it looks like something inawezekana ni kitu cha kawaida lakini leo tunakiportray tunakiportray tunaki right, kwa jamii. Right, so look. Mm. Okay, okay, ni hivi. Ah, uh, the way msanii anaweza kachukulia jambo ambalo limepostiwa na page ya Udaku haitakuwa exactly same same thing ambayo msanii atachukulia kama hicho hicho kitu kimepostiwa na media. Yeah, you understand? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Media na pina pe umeona kwa hiyo nini kuna sijui kama una unanielewa I get you brother Ma nyingi kuna kuna tu maskendo fulani ambapo sio yani sio lazima media ipost yani sio lazima inaweza kapost sikatai lakini kuna tu maskendo skendo fulani kwa hivyo hivi namna gani vipi sio lazima media ipost Media lazima inatakiwa yawachie tu watu watu wenye kupost hizo skendo kama hivyo ma pages za udako na all that But, no. but 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 uh, chiboy let me interact there kwa kwa kulinda brand yako sasa we ni kitu gani ambacho unakifanya kuhakikisha kwamba hiyo vitu vinakuwa opposite na maisha yanaendelea kawaida yeah mara nyingi ninachokifanyaga ni kujaribu kuongea na ndugu zangu kwa sababu wote ndugu zangu naongea nao you know beside of hizi nani za mitandao huaga naongea nao so mara nyingi huaga naongea nao na jaribu kutafuta kitu ambacho laba kita nini tutaelewana tuta vizuri especially naongelea watu wa media okay so, right. of that. ya mara nyingi huaga naongea nao naambia okay na shida mimi I don't see mind hichi kitu kwa nini tusifanye kitu kama hichi laba kwa nini msifanye in a different way ili ili tulinde brand zetu sisi wote maana yake mimi ni msanii kama media mkifanya kitu kama hicho ni kama labda mfano kina niuya you know kina niuya ni nini yangu yeah, yeah, must, yeah, my yeah, my my reputation you know that is uh-huh, the so like, like, brand whatever okay Yes so mimi sasa nikataka kitu kama hiki. Sikataa tufanye kitu kama hicho na hiki na hiki na hiki. Unajua kwa sababu sasa nikaongea na nani na na page za Udaku kitu kama hiyo. No lazima niongee na watu wa media kitu kama hiyo. So mara nyingi kwa kulinda brand yangu waga najaribu kuongea na wenyewe ndugu zangu. Okay let's yes, w- so w- 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 Okay let's wind up brother. Let's get back to the real topic ambayo nilifanya mpaka nikakutafuta. Okay ngoma imeshaingia mjini kwa sasa na tunaona ni ngoma kubwa kwa sababu mapokeo yake sio madogo kwa sababu It was the waiting is over it's over lakini mwisho wa siku umetudondoshia mzigo. What should you expect kwa baadaye sasa baada ya mzigo? Kuna vitu viko kapuni chill boy ama Eh hey bro trust me uh, mwaka huu ni ni waidi tu wasanii wakae wa, yani wawe, wawe tayari sana kokea mabomu pia mm-hmm. yani ni waidi mashabiki na wenyewe wao tayari kusikiliza mziki mzuri kwa sababu yani da mwaka huu nataka nifanye vitu fulani vya utofauti sana yani mwaka wa kufosi Mungu akija Mungu akijali kabisa yani yani naona mwanga fulani mwaka huu yani kifupi sawa sawa chini boy bwana yeah. i trust in you na naujua uwezo wako kabisa ndugu yangu wewe sio wanyo, sio mnyonge kati ya wanyonge bro so i expect a lot from you na najua kila kitu kitakuwa poa sana basi hebu jaribu kuzungumza na mashabiki zako alao kwa dakika moja au dakika moja inatosha sana kuhusiana na mzigo ambao kumezani kwa sasa Oh yes, ewana ndugu zangu, this is Chili Boy, he's out here for the Chili Boy. Nakuja mbele zenu kuwatangazia kazi ambayo nilishirikishwa na brother yangu Martin uh, ambayo anakuwa na kwa jina la Mumbebe, ipo kwenye digital platform. Nafikiri tuna nafikiri zinataka inataka kuwa kwenye digital platform zote, okay. lakini kwa sasa hivi YouTube, yeah, YouTube ipo. Okay. Uh, it's a really nice video, ni video nzuri, ni video kali. Kwao naombeni tu mchukue mchukue kina ambacho ndugu zenu tuliwanini tuliwa tuliwaandalia tutashukuru sana you know like and then yeah, the last thing ni kwamba niwaombe tu ndugu zangu tuendelee ku support muziki mzuri muziki wetu wa Marekani ndio huu hapa ambao tunaufanya na kama tunataka tuendeleze tunatakiwa tu support tu support each other we all depend on each other tunahitaji support kwa kila mmoja kwa hiyo that's all ni kwa wasanii habi ni kwamba tu unahitaji support yenu tu supportiane sisi wote vijana na lengo letu ni moja kwa hiyo support 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 bro me i trust in your ability na toka tumejuana chilibo hujawahi kuniangusha milo nalikubali sana mpaka kesho kutu e, kikubwa tu mimi naamini utazidi kufanya mambo mazuri zaidi na mashabiki wamekusikiliza na wamekuelewa bro thank you for your time brother thank you man